being aware of it. So um, we want to encourage people to go outdoors and use the countryside for their general health and well-being. That is far more important for your health than any risk of Lyme disease or, or picking up a tick. So that's a very important point to understand. Um, the second point is that you can avoid it by, if you're going out on a walk, then just stick to the hard paths then, and don't go brushing through bracken and so on in a forest, then you're not going to pick up a tick. Um, if you are going to have to go through undergrowth and so on, then make sure you've got long trousers on, uh, tuck your socks into your trousers, and uh, you can also use uh, uh, an insect repellent, a DEET-based uh, insect repellent, um, which can help prevent you actually picking up the tick. Uh, the other important thing is doing tick checks when you've been exposed to ticks. So when you've been out hill walking or out, out camping or whatever, then uh, it's very important to check yourself and check yourself for ticks and also get uh, somebody else uh, to check the back of your knees and to check your back, etc. places where you can't see yourself. Um, maybe use your mobile phone um, to act as a mirror to see at the back of your knees if you're by yourself. Another very important point to emphasize is, is doing tick checks from children in children when they've been out playing. Because children uh, are brushing through long grass and bracken or maybe rolling around in grass and bracken, they can pick up a, uh, a tick often behind the ear. So one of the things I would like uh, parents to do is to encourage to in check, uh, check their children behind the ear or in the hairline. Um, children sort of five, six, seven, that sort of age group where they, where they, where they are that, that age. Um, because if a tick um, attaches onto a child behind the ear, um, the infection can go, if it is an infected tick, can go into the, uh, the nerve behind the ear uh, that controls the face and that can give you a Bell's palsy. So again, that's something, if we pick it up early and treat it properly, there's no long-term effects. So it's all about being aware of the risk and seeking early advice if you think you've got a problem.